Hello everyone. In this video we're going to be talking about why your business needs fibre. Or maybe why it doesn't need fibre. Let's find out. So here's a little bit about us, about Ballscoin. So who are we? We are a UK based internet and telecommunications service provider. Uh, we like to get to know every one of our business customers. We really like to understand what their, what their business is and how we can help them. And uh, we really just enjoy this industry in general. So you can find us at www.pulsecoin.co.uk uh, and you can phone us on 0330 043 2568. And if you search for Bullscoin on Facebook or Twitter and of course YouTube, you'll be able to find us. Okay, so let's begin. So, fibre, what is fibre broadband? Now, there's two types in the UK, there's two types of uh, fibre. So, there's FTTC, now this stands for fibre to the cabinet. It's faster than ADSL, um, and uh, quite a lot faster than ADSL. But the problem is, is, is that the further away you are from the cabinet, um, the slower your speed. So it's if your if your building is in an unfortunate place, you aren't going to get um, you're going to get slower speeds than somebody else who's closer to the cabinet. And FTTP stands for fibre to the premises, um, and it's the fastest available broadband in the UK. And um, the speed is not affected by your distance from the cabinet, but you can get low speeds uh, if a lot of people uh, on your network are using it uh, on the your ISPs network. So that's something to uh, remember. And ADSL, depending on your business type, um, something you know the slower speeds of ADSL, it might be absolutely fine. So we're going to talk about all of this uh, in a minute. Okay. So some businesses need fibre and others do not. So let's look at the ones that do need fibre. So if you're um, people in your company, if, you, if they use lots of high bandwidth eating applications, so things like conference calling, like Zoom and Skype, anything like that, video and audio streamed over the internet. Um, if you've got a very large team that uses the internet simultaneously, that's going to eat up bandwidth quite quickly. Um, and if you have a web app or any kind of application that needs all the bandwidth to function, maybe it's been coded in a way, maybe um, it just does require all this um, bandwidth, then you might need to think about investing in fiber or using fiber. It's not particularly uh, much of an investment. Um, and if you don't need fiber, you're probably using low intensity um, application, uh, you know, not doing conference call, your web apps, if you have them, aren't, um, don't, don't use much bandwidth, maybe you've got like a simple um, web panel online, uh, or maybe broadband just isn't it's something you like in your business, but it's not something you rely on. Maybe if you're a uh, you know a closed retailer, you might not need um, broadband. Uh, you might not need fibre. You might just want this sort of low speed ADSL, which will be absolutely absolutely fine, more than enough for your business, and you can save money. Um, so we're going to take a look at a um, business that we've worked with, um, but first we're just going to talk about a survey we conducted. Um, we contacted hundreds of businesses and we surveyed them on their new broadband installations. This is a new fibre installations, I should say. <coughs> so um, we can see, so these are all businesses that have got new uh, broadband from um, Bullsoon. So. We've had, for fibre overall growth, we had 60%. Uh, uh, this is their annual turnover. And no fibre, it was only 23%. Then we've got budget spent on um, fixes. This means engineer charges and stuff. 10% um, for fibre and 30% for no fibre. Then for productivity increase, and this is self-reported, of course. But we have 40% for um, fibre and 25% increase without fibre, with a new broadband. And then employee satisfaction rate, uh, as you might expect, you know, fast speeds, they're going to be quite happy. So 90% satisfaction rate, this is to do with internet, not just general, but um, broadband satisfaction rate. 90% uh, and around 22% for uh, no fibre, for ADSL speed. So it's something quite interesting, something to um, take into account when you're making a purchase decision. Um, so here we're going to look at a business we work with called Mac 11 and we're going to be talking about how fibre led to significant growth for this advertising agency. So 
Before Fiverr, there was a lot of um, lengthy downtimes and uh, fixes. They were very slow because uh, of the because uh, of the whole um, copper network. And these people moved to Fiverr to the premises. Um, they lost leads because of lack of communication um, due to these downtimes they're experiencing. And they had a web interface that was uh, for their clients, and it was self-hosted, um, so it was really slow when their clients were using it. Um, so that's what it was like before Fiber. Then once they got Fiber, they had increased efficiency. So they sent emails faster, you know, less time waiting. Any emails with attachments are uploaded them way quicker. Uh, like I said, they left less time waiting, more time doing. And um, they future-proof their, their IT infrastructure. So fibers, especially for um, the kind of get used to the internet right now, in present times, it, there it's uh, it's going to be it, it's it's future future-proof. You know, it's high speeds. Um, you know, of course, you can get faster and faster and faster. But um, in terms of the minimum requirements, you know, fiber is very high, and it will be. It will, there will be ages before fiber is a minimum requirement, basically, is what I'm trying to say. Um, employee satisfaction went up due to less broadband frustrations. Um, there was decreased costs decreased costs because there were less um, errors due to the copper wiring that, that had to be fixed. It would have had, that would, uh, was fixed in the past. Um, and there was reduced electrical interference from machinery um, and other electrical wiring, um, which they had had some issues with before. So they're very satisfied with their new fiber. So it's a bit of a short one, um, but you, hopefully useful if you've been on the fence about buying fiber. Um, it really depends on your business use, uh, what your business is and, and, and what your business would use fiber for. So so thank you very much for um, watching though. Uh, I'm Luke Simmons, I'm the CEO and founder of Google Scoin. Uh, you can call us, uh, I won't read out the call uh, number again, but our email address uh, to contact our team is info at bullscoring.co.uk or you can contact me personally with luke at bullscoring.co.uk and you can visit our website at www.bullscoring.co.uk You can ask me about any um, any of the uh, topics I've raised in this presentation or you can ask me about any, anything else, any other of our uh, products. We've got um, you know, telecoms and antivirus and these other things that you can uh, look at on our website. So I hope you have a very nice rest of your day, and thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.